of the best things about CQG Integrated Client is how easy it is to customize for your specific needs. This video shows you how to manage and customize your toolbars. After successfully logging on, new users will start with a clean workspace that looks like this. If you're not a new user, your workspace likely includes one or more application windows, such as DOM Trader, News, Quote Spreadsheet, Time and Sales, and Charts. Your window might look something like this. First, we need to identify some key areas of the main integrated client window. The title bar is located across the top of the main window. In the upper left-hand corner, the title bar includes the CQG program icon, the time of day, the system number, the current page number, and in the upper right, the minimize, maximize, and close buttons. Right below the title bar is the application toolbar. These buttons allow you to open CQG applications, such as a chart, quote, and time and sales window. To the right of the application toolbar is a toolbar area that can include several different toolbars, including the communications toolbar, the page toolbar, and utility toolbar. To the far right of the toolbar area is the systems toolbar, which contains five buttons that allow you to get system information, arrange your windows, exit the program, maximize and minimize the active window, and get help. The vertical area located on the left side of the main window is the active window toolbar. The buttons in this area change based on which CQG application you're using. The two main buttons on this toolbar are the setup and print buttons. Now you're ready to experience how easy it is to make changes to your toolbars. Right click in the gray area between the toolbars to open the toolbar manager. Here you can customize all of your toolbars. On the chart quote news row, click the add remove button to open the customize application toolbar window. Here you can choose which application buttons to display. Click a button to add it to the application toolbar. Click it again to remove it. Applications that do not have a button on the toolbar can be opened by clicking the More button and choosing the application from the menu. Here are more examples of adding buttons to the application toolbar. For all toolbars, the order in which you add the buttons is the order in which they will appear on your toolbar. If you want to totally customize the order in which buttons appear, click Clear All and then click the buttons in the order you want them to appear. Go to Utilities. On the Utility toolbar, the default buttons are the Formula and Symbols button. You can add the Refresh button for refreshing data. Add buttons for the other toolbars in the same way. Click the Add Remove button for communications. Select which buttons to include on that toolbar. Go to Pages. The Pages toolbar can include buttons to display specific pages. We'll tell you more about Pages in another video. At the bottom of the Custom Page Toolbar window, you can also select check boxes to display a page number box, a Save Page button, a Previous Page button, a Next Page button, and a Combined Previous and Next button. The Toolbar Manager also allows you to choose the buttons that will appear in the Active Window Toolbars for the Chart application and the Options application. For instance, you can configure which studies will appear in your Chart Active Window Toolbar. The buttons for all CQG studies are available here. Click a button to add a study to the Active Window Toolbar for charts. You can customize the color of all toolbar buttons.
You can also hide the toolbars or configure them so that they appear only when you hover your mouse over that location. Finally, you can change the locations of the toolbars. There are unlimited ways to arrange your CQG workspace so that it fits your unique trading style. Work with the Toolbar Manager to make CQG Integrated Client the perfect environment for you. This concludes our video on how to customize toolbars in CQG Integrated Client. Thank you.